Here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 1995, a man in Berlin, Germany attempted to rob a bank. He walked in with a gun and demanded the money. Apparently something about his behavior tipped off the bank employees. The robber was then asked if he needed a bag for the money. Obviously you would expect him to answer with a simple yes or no. Instead, he yelled back, You're damn right it's a real gun. At this point, the employees realized that their suspicions were correct. The man robbing the bank was actually deaf. The alarm was then sounded, but everyone managed to show little or no reaction so as not to alert the robber. Even when he would occasionally shout out that he was a trained killer, witnesses said he was mostly calm and patient as he waited for the cash. All this while a very loud alarm was sounding throughout the bank. Police were on the scene in just five minutes and the man was arrested without incident. He wasn't even aware that officers had entered the bank. But here is where it gets really strange. The man, later identified as Klaus Schmidt, was so upset at how the bank outsmarted him that he filed a lawsuit. That's right, he sued the bank for taking advantage of his hearing impairment. According to the lawsuit, he claimed that bank employees had exploited his disability. This guy is a real piece of work. Well, to no one's surprise, his lawsuit was dismissed and he went to jail for armed robbery. In episode 13 of our stupid crime series, there was a story of a man in Alaska named Michael Nash. In 2018, Nash robbed the first national bank in Anchorage. According to police, he never displayed a weapon. Instead, he simply handed the teller a strange note that read, This is a holdup. Please put the money they want in the bag. God help us. During that attempt, he managed to leave the bank with $400. However, Bank employees noticed that the note was written on the back of a form for affordable housing. That form also had Nash's personal information on it, including his real name and birth date. When police arrived, they not only had his information, they also had Mr. Nash. That's because he was found still outside the bank, sitting on the ground counting the bag of money. Nash was arrested on the spot and given a 366 day prison term. That sentence was followed by five years of supervised release. You're probably wondering why we mentioned this story again. Well, guess who showed up to rob the same bank five years later? That's right, in 2023 Michael Nash was back again. But this time he arrived too early as the bank was still closed. According to bank employees, Nash arrived at 9 a.m. and began violently pulling on the front doors. Employees told him through the glass that the bank would not be open for another hour. When a bank security officer attempted to get him to leave, he refused. Instead, Nash passed a note to a bank supervisor through the locked doors. The note read as follows. This is a robbery. Put the money in a bag and I will walk out. This is a robbery. God help us all. As you can see, this note is very similar to the one he used in his previous attempt. However, this time he made sure not to use a form that had his personal information. The bank supervisor immediately ordered for the bank door to be locked with a secondary locking mechanism. They then called 911, but Nash continued loitering in front of the bank. When officers arrived, Nash peacefully surrendered and was transported to an Anchorage police station. While he was being taken away in the patrol car, he allegedly told officers that this was not his first time robbing a bank. It won't be his first time going to jail either. Apparently Nash has a rather long criminal history that goes back a few decades. It includes everything from theft and forgery to distributing drugs. 49-year-old Michael Nash now faces up to 20 years in prison. Over the years, law enforcement has used various tactics to trick criminals into unwittingly turning themselves in. For example, in episode 17 of our series, we reported on a tactic used by police in Granite Shoals, Texas. In 2016, they used their Facebook page to convince drug users that there was contaminated meth and heroin being sold in the area. 
people were instructed to bring their drugs to the police station so officers could test them. They even recommended that people not use their drugs until they were properly tested. As crazy as it sounds, someone actually took the bait. Perhaps police in Granite Shoals were inspired by a rather effective trick used by Derbyshire police in the UK. In 2011 those officers decided to run a fake promotion offering free beer. They sent letters to dozens of wanted criminals, informing them that they had won a free crate of beer. All the person needed to do was contact the company that ran the promotion. They were then given a number to call so they could arrange to pick up their prize. Of course there was no real company. Instead, the number connected them to the Chesterfield police station. An undercover officer then arranged a date and time for the alcohol to be picked up. Each caller was sent to a different location. The suspects would then go to the area to get what they thought was free beer. When they arrived, police would move in and arrest them. According to police, 19 fugitives called the assigned number and showed up for the free brew. But instead of walking away with a crate of beer, there were plenty of police officers ready to take them into custody. Police carried out the operation as part of a month-long campaign targeting serious crime in the area. A police chief inspector said that these suspects were people who had avoided arrest for a long time. So they decided to use different tactics to find them. He also said that this method proved to be very cost-effective as it can take a lot of time and money to track people down. It must have been pretty humiliating for these folks to get caught in this manner. After all, they had avoided capture for so long that they probably felt they had outsmarted law enforcement. But somehow they were tricked by a phony contest that they never even entered. Then again, not many beer drinkers would turn down a free cold one. Thus police knew they had the right bait. So in the end, they not only caught 19 fugitives, they also saved a lot of money and resources in the process. After all, they never actually gave away any beer. Whoever came up with the idea should probably get a raise. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.